guys, this is me Puneet and welcome back to Puneet's Creations. So today we are going to have a brief overview of the Snap 100 electric circuits. Shall we begin? First we got the layout, the instruction manual and the items. First we have the base grid which you can use to attach all your components it and these parts are called snaps they allow you to send electricity to them you get three one single snaps because it only has one dot six double snaps there's also number mentioned for you to know which snap three three snaps A 4 snap, a 5 snap and the big one of this pack, the 6 snap. 6 snap is the final one of this pack. There may be more in the future. So now let's head on to the other parts. We have batteries. You have to use 2 AA batteries. Batteries are not included. Afterwards we have buttons. We have the side switch or the on off switch. The left is on and the right is off. And the press it. This press it sends signals whenever you are pressing. For example, you are pressing this and it is connected to a DC motor. This is a DC motor. It is connected to this for example. And as long as you are pressing this, this will be spinning. And when you leave it, it stops. So it basically sends a continuous signal. You also have a DC fan for the motor. Afterwards, we have a 2.5 watt lamp, a photo receptor, a whistle chip. I'm going to tell you what the photo receptor and whistle chip does at the end. And a resistor, a red light emitting diode. Red and black jump wires, a speaker, and music integrated circuit U1, alarm integrated circuit U2, U stands for unit, and space for integrated circuit U3. The space for integrated circuit basically gives out sound effects like lights lights all that basically space related as the name mentioned so now as i've gone to i'm going to tell you what each part does shall we so as the on off switch it when you on it it sends signals and when you off it it stops as i told the press it sends signals whenever you're pressing it afterwards we have the resistor this resistor can resist up to a thousand watts but it also reduces the electricity or electricity force like if you connect this to a speaker it will reduce the so sound of the speaker and to the fan it to the dc motor it reduces the speed of the motor afterwards what the photoreceptor does is it reacts to light like when there's no light or when i'm keeping my finger over it there's no light inside it and it's pitch black black does not allow color to pass through it it reflects it so like when there's nothing if you connect it to it it plays no sound when there's a light or any sudden light reacted it restarts reacting basically you can keep an object object between it and light so it doesn't create any sound or any does not send electricity and when you remove it and it reacts to light so it basically works like that and what this whistle chip does is it has two magnetic chips right there there's a, like a thin way all where the components of this are kept you can't it's very blur and if you can't no one can't and see it i know it's very hard but you guys not may understand so let me simplify it basically there are two chips of magnetic when you touch this with your thumb 
it sends out the signal or it reacts to high sounds sometimes claps a sound it reacts to low sounds but sometimes because of an issue it doesn't react to any sound so you got to tap it this and that time it works when you tap on it also like in this here in between where they show you it's the place where you have to tap or to use to internet now well, let's go on to the jump wires the jump wires basically allow you to extend electricity through them instead of these parts they are used for speakers or like you can also use them to for water alarms as you can also build water alarms all that items okay the they are build ideas of what all you can build or you can come up with your own ideas using this okay so now i um, let me just show you all from the instruction manual so these are the component we went went to we got the one snap base grid two snap whistle chips all that basically all the components which you get the first page and what are the uses how to use it in the second page and all the parts what are the information about it if you want to know more about the photoreceptor i'm going to tell you it right now photoreceptor is a light sensitive resistor it values changes from nearly infinite in total darkness about 1000 watts when a light shines on it this symbol right here i don't know what this symbol is but i'm mostly thinking it's watts because it has on the has like this too this can resist up to 1000 watts as mentioned in this book and this sends out a 1000 watts basically like if you attach them both basically they negate each other i don't know how electricity works but yeah so yeah after the motor the motor converts electricity into mechanical motion electricity is closely related to magnetism and the current flow in in, in a wire has a magnetic field similar to that so basically all this allows you to like understand the proper like what work it does and the jump wires i want to tell you that jump wires flexible connection for sometimes when using the snap wires would be difficult they are also used to make connections of the grid base like base grid this base you can connect one here and other like see they mention like the projects using water see like that you can use the jump wires and also for the whistle chip whistle chip contain two thin plates when an electrical signal is applied across them see like electricity snap touch all that basically opposite across them and it's in an effort to separate like two magnets opposing each other when the signal is removed they come back together if the sig electric signal applied across them is quick then the plates will change this vibration creates a variation in air pressure that your ears feel like sound from a speaker so if you don't know what sound is sound is basically the movement in air for example if you take a like any bomb like as you can as we know or or i'm going to tell you what this does basically see there are two plates tap see the sound is coming but can you hear that because the force and an item touch it creates sound we can only hear up to 20 to 20000 hertz so yeah dogs can hear better than us like 5 50000 range is all that but again some might not understand so to basically simplify it sound is basically the difference in air pressure okay so guys that was just the overview of all the items which you get and the explanation so that you understand what each part does so yeah i hope you understood if you want to build a projects build projects i am going to make more videos like there are around 100 and 100 base of like making different things in this like fans water reactors um like clap reactors sound reactors light reactors basically like a very huge amount of like 
list. Let me show you what I'll do. Like, this entire page is about what all you can do. Like, we got flying saucers, paper, space wars, space wars flickering, flashing lights, lasers with sound, light control LED, bomb sounds, bomb sounds. We are going to build it. The bomb. Let's build a bomb. I'm building the bomb. Don't ask me why. It's the best prank to do on your friends. Like, take near them. Bomb. Bro. Come on. I'm telling you, that's the best troll ever created. Thank you so much. Electric snap circuits. Yeah. Let's create a bomb, shall we? This is the best read. As you see, they mention here places where you can places you have to keep you can keep it anywhere in the base grid but they are telling this so that you can know where it would be easier to keep all the items so let's start first we got to use the batteries right here let me just build, do a quick build and i'm going to show you so guys i built it the project right now see it's very easy and not that complex at all. They are complex projects which I have built. Some are very complex when you guys even imagine sort of thing. Yeah, so this is I'm going to tell you what it does. That's actually very good for a first attempt. Like I tried this project for the first time. And it's basically giving out sounds like pew, pew, like basically bombs are falling from the air and blasting. Yeah, basically it does what it says. Yeah, there is also like bomb sound too. Build a circuit that sounds like a bomb dropping. Yeah, both have the same name, the first one and this. Use the place to replace this IC. With a motor turn the it's wrapped up on the the on it no what one second guys basically in part two they are selling to replace this switch with a motor the DC motor turn the shaft on the motor my friend okay. it's spinning sending continuous signal but the light is curved. It's sending very light, very little light as you can see. Whereas, oh, guys, you are not supposed to remove in between. It causes shock. See? See? On. See the light? It brightens up and it ends up going. But see, this goes single and difference to the motor is that it basically spins continuously sending out see it's sending out continuous signals so basically the difference is that basically if you want continuous bomb blasting from the air use the motor yeah So guys, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and I hope you have understood how to make the snaps. If you want to make all the snaps, I'm going to make a video for each snaps on its own on this channel. And I'm going to upload it soon or later. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. And see you next time on Pony's Creations. This is me Pony signing off.